Hey. What's up, Chris? We're here at PAX this year, and we have a special guest, mystery host. Wait, what do you mean a special guest? Debbie from casting said I was fine. I did great last episode. What, what, what special guest? I'm good. Well, you see, the thing is, there's such things as demographics, and it's hard to, you know, get that sort of thing. But they'll be here in a few minutes. Have you seen the color? You're always wearing shades and a hat. What, what demographic are you going for? Well, I mean, I'm going for the Corey Hart ones, you know, that I wear my sunglasses at night. Not again. Not again. Meanwhile, at the bit. So. Another PAX. Yep. Wait, what do you mean another PAX? Yeah, the rest of the crew's at PAX. We are the crew. The rest of the crew. No, no, but we are the crew, like me and Katie. Yeah. yeah. Katie? Katie? What? What are you doing here? Um, Eric locked me in the bathroom and I just got out. I was there for days. Why'd you lock her in the bathroom? Yeah, that's really yeah. messed up. Well, I just want to lock her in the bathroom. How'd you get out? I had to use my Super Mario powers and climb into the toilet. That's crazy, but look, we're missing the issue here. We're not at PAX. <clears throat> that explains the ICs. Wait, I didn't get an icy. Really? That's because you locked me in the bathroom. Well, I mean, that's that's besides the point. I should have gotten an icy. Aiden should have been at PAX. Yeah, we should be at PAX. Be at PAX. Yeah. I think Chris is to blame for this one. Yeah. Yo, I swear, I'm totally going to take this star and shove it up his tight little chocolate lemon... Out. Like, is your blood sugar okay? Because I know you've been having trouble with that back at the hotel. Yeah, was, I think it was the hotel. These Boston mattresses or something. I, I didn't get to sleep good at night. No, it's, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, while you're on the floor, I guess what's got here is Katrina. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Katrina is a frag doll cadet. I had to ask her what they do because I didn't know what they did, but she told me. But uh, this is your first pack, right? Yep. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, first time to Boston, too. So I'm really excited to see what the show has in store for me. This is going to be really cool. But first, we got to make sure TJ gets something in the system because we don't want him to pass out again, man. That, that was just horrible, you know? I'm, more, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll make it through the show. we got a lot of things to cover. We're going to have some fun. I respect that. I don't respect you, but I respect that. Let's get started. Created in 1988, Super Mario Bros. 3 is the last Mario game created for the NES. Bowser's at it again, sending Mario and Luigi on their quest to save the rulers of the Seven Kingdoms. Its feature power-up was a raccoon tail that gave Mario the ability to fly, as opposed to the cape he wore in Super Mario World. The levels feature hidden items, including whistles that allowed the pair to warp to other worlds. Using these whistles, you could probably beat the game in about 10 minutes. To this day, Super Mario Bros. 3 is a retro favorite of gamers, and myself included. We're taking a tour of the sexy time. Hey baby, you're looking uh, you're looking really nice tonight. What's your name? The Z77A. I like it. All right. Well, you were looking just ravishing. Tonight. Thank you very much. What made you decide to dress up as Sailor Moon? <laughs> um, bachelor party. So uh, a bunch of my buddies decided they were going to make me dress up for PAX, and I was like, okay, what are we dressing up as? And one of my friends said, you know, let's do Sailor Moon. I'm like, you know what, guys? You buy me the outfit, I'll wear it all three days. I never thought they would actually do it. Did you cosplay a lot? No. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really liking your chip set tonight. It looks fine. Can I purchase you a cab ride home? Perhaps uh, you could always support my SLI. Was Encino Man really a Nintendo game?
you get the idea for this fantastic costume? Could you turn around for a second? Yeah. Just so we can get a glimpse at this. Isn't that amazing? Look at the pink. Oh, it's fantastic. Where did you get the idea for making it uh, this Hello Kitty? Are you a big fan? Uh, I actually have no idea what Hello Kitty is. No, no, I'm serious. Like, no research. Oh, no research. Okay. In the Ghostbusters community, someone photoshopped a pack to look like this. And uh, I had a junk pack in my garage that just sat around and someone told me about it. I was like, oh, I could make one of those. I bet they'd be funny as hell. So there we go. You're the unique and fantastic one. Oh, it's fine. Stop. <laughs> oh, you. No, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Master of Monsters is a turn-based strategy game released in 1991 that puts the player in the role of one of five masters, each with a unique variety of monsters they can summon. The core gameplay involves the player summoning and moving monsters around a hexagonal board with various terrains in order to battle for control of land, towers, and to ultimately defeat the other masters. While the graphics are dated, the gameplay, variety of creatures, maps, and soundtrack make this a master of classics.